Hey, Mike, are you in? Yeah, I'm in, and I raise you ten. How about you, Nick? Yeah, I'm in. Somebody spot me twenty. Work's been pretty slow this week. Oh, oh man. Oh. Hey, you got a watch. You can put that up. My watch? I could never part with my watch. It's the only thing I have left from my last case. That and a broken heart. It all started when this dame walked into my office. Not again. <sighs> Are you Nick Bounty? You know, you shouldn't barge in on a guy like that, lady. I could have been naked. Hmm, <laughs> maybe next time. Ow, my eye! Ah, uh, uh, okay. What can I do for you, miss? Catherine Ledbetter. Call me Kitty. I need for you to find me a goat. A goat? Yes, I need to find a very special ceramic goat. Right. You are a private eye, right? Almost. Uh, I'm currently still a public M-class detective, but uh, to be a private eye, you gotta uh, get a license, fill out all this paperwork, blah blah blah. Still, I am more of a murder and missing persons kind of detective. Uh, you ever hear a CSI? Please, Mr. Bounty. I'll be your best friend. What kind of goat? Uh, it's nothing fancy, really. Just something from my childhood. A ceramic goat statue that my uncle kept at his office. Well, he passed away last week, but because I'm not immediate family, his law firm won't let me into his office. I have a picture. The address of my uncle's office is on the back. Please, it means a lot to me. All right, I'll take your case, but only because you remind me of one of those kittens who lost their mittens. Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens, then you shall have no pie. Mew, mew, mew. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Bounty. I'll be in touch. Kitty gave me this photo of her goat statue. I should show it around to see if anyone's seen it. I picked this spy kit up at the dollar store. What a bargain, huh? Ooh, a real spy camera. Industrial strength rope cutters. These might come in handy. C4 for safe cracking. Wow. This is where I keep my nickels. Mmm, bacon. It's my lucky ruler. There, covered in teeth marks. Yep, I'm carrying a full 12 inches in my pants. Okay, so I accepted a nothing case, but seeing as it was the only case that I had secured in months, I figured I'd better get to work. She needed to be with her Pretzels. Well, if it was me, no. no. Oh, mm -hmm. not very salty. Yeah. She's cute, but she seems really busy. <laughs> oh, <God>. No thanks. <laughs> Why is that office a crime scene? Oh, hold on one second. Look, all I can tell you is that Mr. Ledbetter's death came after he mysteriously became paralyzed. The rest is confidential. Now, would you like to make an appointment with one of our other lawyers? Actually, I wanted to be discreet about this, but I'm a lawyer. I'm looking to rent this office, because I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer? Prove it. If you're a lawyer, then surely you know the secret language of litigation. Let's hear it. Uh, habeas corpus? I'm listening. Post facto. Mm-hmm. Mm, modus operandi? 
Go right in, Counselor Sir. Sorry to have doubted you, but you understand I have to keep out the riffraff. Absolutely. And someone with a corpus as delecti as yours must get riffraff bothering her all day long, ipso facto. Dead language, my posterium. And to think I had the nerve to ask when we'd ever use Latin when I took it in high school. Sticky on one side, smooth on the other. You know, like tape. Nah, I always get some stuck to my lip. Sticky on one side, smooth on the other. Not even a paper jam. Ah, uh, this machine's clean. I haven't done this since college. Only then it wasn't my face. Not a bad likeness of myself, actually. This must be where Mr. Ledbetter kept his briefs. Personally, I prefer boxers. Sadly, that's not the worst joke that you're going to be hearing. Hey, look, I'm really sorry. It's locked. That's why they call it a safe. Because everything in there is safe from me. Hmm, no dust. Maybe it's been cleaned recently. Wait a second, this isn't C4, it's just Play-Doh! Yuck, all I've done is gunked up the cracks. Oh no! Well, I don't think she needs to be with anyway. Well, if it was me- no, no, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you tell me what happened to this statue that Mr. Ledbetter kept in his office? <gasps> oh. oh, hold on one second. Uh, if the family or the police didn't take it, then it went to one of the pawn shops in Chinatown. Now, if you excuse me, I, I have to take this important call. Tales of the Odd. Decode the secret writing of sculpture appraisers. Boy, that sounds like a, uh, well, a puzzle solution. PC Gamer calls Brain Hotel a five-star masterpiece. Bat Boy eats own head. Weird. Hey, no browsing. Oh, God! What the hell is that? And nothing is for sale until after the show. When is the show? As soon as I can get a new partner. I can't put on a stick puppet show myself, you know. What happened to your old partner? Ah, uh, he was a jerk. The guy had a real stick up his ass. Who's this show for? There's no one here. That doesn't matter. The show must go on. Does the sun stop rising just because there's no one awake to see it? Do mountains shrink when there's no one there to climb them? Does Britney Spears stop singing just because her voice causes irreversible nerve damage? Hey, can I be in the show? Sure. Just get yourself a stick puppet and we'll get this show started. I'll just come back later. Welcome to my shop, Mr. Bounty. Hey, how did you know my- You are here seeking a valuable object. Well, yeah. You seek this, magical sunglasses from Ming Dynasty, worn by the Emperor himself who gained the power to see into the future. Really? Well, these still say Kmart on the side. Ah, uh, yes, uh, perhaps something else then. Hey, it's one of those black lights that makes my 70s posters glow all trippy. No, I'm not gonna lick it. I don't even know why that was an option. 
I'd like to buy this. I know. It is already taken care of. Uh, thanks, I guess? Hey, what is this? Some kind of bust? Mr. Bounty? Surely you recognize a bust of yourself! This is me? But how did you know I was... Wow, that is eerie. Chews like gum. Tastes like sock. I'd like to buy this. I know. I have already charged it to your credit card, Mr. Bounty. Hey, quit that. Hey, this is no bust of me. It's just a wad of silly putty. What a ripoff. Hmm, this puppet doesn't really hold together very well. Now that's a handsome puppet. Don't leer at me like that, young man. My mustache is deadly. Don't even think it, Grasshopper. My mustache has destroyed many powerful men. I'm looking for a goat. Yes, I have foreseen it. You seek the mystical Jay Goat of Borneo stolen from the God of Thunder no, no, by... just a simple ceramic goat. Do you have any? Ah, uh, perhaps you are referring to my sacred jewel-encrusted ceramic cow? Never mind. Thanks anyway. No, wait! Ceramic goat! You come back later! I make one just for you! Have anything for me yet? Be patient, Mr. Bounty. It will be ready when you need it. I got a puppet! That's great! Come on back and let's get the show started. No, Rick, no. I'm staying with you. Isa, if that plane leaves the ground and you're not on it, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon, and for the rest of your life. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. No, I can't let you do it. I can't let you leave me. If I can't have you, no one can. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, that's not what's supposed to happen. That's it. The end. Thanks for helping out. Go ahead and grab a copy of that magazine you wanted on the way out. You've earned it. It says, appraisers use fluorescent pens to mark the sculpture with the date of their appraisal. And after that, it's just a chart showing how the symbols translate into dates. So that's how the Antiques Roadshow knows how old everything is. I can't see a thing through this camera. The lens cover's super glued on. Hey, what can I get for this spy camera? Well, I can give you a good pop in the teeth. Uh, maybe you could just throw it away for me. Very good, sir. It's a Rolodex. Hands off, please. I don't wanna. A man with a seagull on his upper lip. Nah, I don't know where it's been. Hi. I'm a detective. I'm looking for a ceramic goat. Yes, well, we get a lot of those. Perhaps if you had a picture, I could help. I'm looking for this ceramic goat. Ah, now that is an exquisite piece of art. Sure to bring a fortune at auction. Terribly sorry, old chap. Sold out, don't you know? 
But you did have it? I should say so. I never forget a rare artifact. We try to get at least one priceless goat statue in every week for Mr. Trosser. Priceless, eh? Somehow I doubt that. Tell me about Mr. Trosser. Yes, bit of an eccentric, that one. He's bloody nuts about the silly goat things. Ho 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 ho! Bit hard to deal with at times, but extraordinarily wealthy. Great! Where can I find him? Dreadfully sorry, old chap. Our customer mailing list information is confidential. But I'm a detective. Try not to be too upset. Stiff up a lip and all that. Now, if you have any business that involves giving me money, well, I'd quite like to hear it. Otherwise, and I do hope you don't take this the wrong way, you understand? Please piss off. Now there's a good fellow. I need to somehow get a picture of Mr. Trosser's card in that mailing list file. Are you sure you can't give me Mr. Trosser's address? Dreadfully sorry, old chap. Our customer mailing list information is confidential. Why is this shop so empty? Empty? I should say not. But we are rather selective. Carry only the finest second-hand everyday goods. Can I get on your mailing list? But of course. Here, fill out this card. I've already filled out the mailing list card. Well, I mostly just scribbled. Okay, I did it. Here you go. Incidentally, what was the name of that guy with the goats again? Mr. Trosser, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I still can't read your handwriting very well. What is your full name again? Nick Trounty. Very good, sir. Hey, mate. Can I get that information card back again? I forgot. My mother's maiden name recently changed. Very good, sir. The silly putty did the trick. I got the address. A man came in here earlier wearing a gray trench coat and fedora. He was looking for a statue. Yes, I remember him. He asked me about a statue, but I didn't know anything about it. I told him to try one of the pawn shops in Chinatown. Statue! See? I told you, Cormac! I knew it! Chinatown, eh? Seals, it looks like we're going shopping. Convincing the collector to give up the goat proved easier than I expected. It turned out not to be the priceless artifact the pawn shop owner claimed. Imagine that. So how'd you know it was a fake? Well, I had it appraised yesterday. Unfortunately, my appraiser told me it wasn't worth anything. I suppose I could have just checked it with my x-ray vision, but he's a good man. I'd like to support his business. Well, if it isn't worth anything, can I have it? I do treasure my non-valuables room like my children, but since I despise children, I don't see any reason why you can't have it. Have a look in my fakes room. Good luck finding it, though. I have many priceless non-valuables there, and I don't remember which it is. I'd love to stay and pretend to help, but I must be off. I'll be upstairs getting my full body salt and vinegar scrub. When you are through, just let yourself out. Hey, these all look like the goat in the picture. Hey, I bet I can tell which one's the most recent addition by uh, inspecting the dust surrounding the... Uh, uh, Achoo! Damn it. They all look exactly the same. I can't tell which one was added most recently.
There's got to be something else I can do here. They all look exactly the same. I can't tell which one was added most recently. Got it. Okay, now what? Hey, I can cross-reference these markings with the magazine I picked up and figure out which is the most recent. I am so smart. A man in a trench coat came in here earlier looking for a priceless statue. Who was he? Man? Oh, yes, yes. Odd chap. Smelt a bit of gorgonzola, I think. Hey, the man asked you a question. Who was he? Seals, where are your manners? Give him the opportunity to answer before you decide to fill him with lead. Ah, frightfully sorry, old bean. I had the name of the detective on file, but I'm afraid he took it back. That's him, I know it. He must be the one they hired to find the statue. Perhaps, Sills. You just keep your mouth shut, your eyes open, and your finger on the trigger. We'll get that statue even if you have to pry it from his cold, dead hands. Kitty's ceramic goat statue. I actually found it. Mr. Bounty, I seem to be having a bit of a problem up here. I can't seem to move my legs for some reason. Oh, and there go my arms. Be a sport and fetch that fat cop Sam for me, will you? He should be over at Rick's China House about now. They have an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet. Poor Rick didn't know what he was in for. Well, if it isn't Nick Bounty, the world's least paid detective. <laughs> How goes the search for work? My legs are moving, but there's no change in my pocket. Story of my life, Sam. Well, what'd you expect? Your line of work is kinda like being a cop, only without the respect, authority, regular paycheck. Yeah, and what did you do with that regular paycheck? Invest it all in the low main market? That doesn't matter. You're just in time to join me in a little oily celebration. Oh, expecting to make it through your fifth bypass operation? I'm about to break a big investigation. See, that's just something real cops do. Anyway, there's been a recent rash of suspicious paralyzations. We're pretty sure that it's a poison, but we're just not positive yet how it's being distributed. But I'm confident that I'm this close to cracking the case wide open. Not to mention the seam of your pants. That reminds me, if you plan on using the restroom here, I suggest you take a couple of these matches with you. That's really disgusting, Sam. I found a peanut. Okay, I ate him for all the good it's gonna do me. I never did like Sam too much. I seriously think he only joined the force for the free donuts. No way! His hands are covered in grease. You know, there's a lot of salt in Chinese food. That can't be good for your blood pressure. Yeah, yeah, my doctor says I should cut down, but I ain't worried about my health. I'm not gonna be chasing down criminals on foot anytime soon. That's what I got a gun for. How does Rick feel about your cleaning out his all-you-can-eat buffet? Doubt he even knows about it. He hardly spends any time here anymore. He's got a girl up at the Blue Crab Cafe. 
goes there all the time. I think he just can't bear to stick around watching you yuck up his restaurant. And who can blame him? By the way, an eccentric old man sent me to see you. I think he needs help. If you mean that crazy Mr. Trosser, he needs help all right. Eh, I'll go see him after lunch. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Sills, get the body. Someone whacked me pretty hard, but not enough to do me in. They wanted to question me first. Turns out I wasn't the only one looking for the statue. Glad to see you're coming around, Mr. Bounty. Now, why don't you tell us about the statue? What statue? Oh, let me shoot him, Cormac. Shut up. We know what you're looking for. Why don't you tell us all about it? Forget it. I don't trust a man who wears brown socks with black shoes. What the hell? Was that... Was that a corn dog? Wrong answer, Mr. Bounty. Try again. Tell us about the statue. Look, some dame hired me to find it. That's all I know. Ah, uh, he ain't gonna talk. I say we blow him up. Perhaps you are right, Sills. Mr. Bounty, either you really don't know anything, or you simply aren't telling us. Either way, it's obvious you aren't going to give us the statue. Therefore, we don't need you. If you have anything else you want to say, I suggest you say it now. Because that bomb over there is going to take this whole building out in a few minutes. There is something I want to say. Rubber biggie boogie bumper. Rubber biggie boogie bump. Rubber biggie boogie bump. Damn it, I want to say it, but I can't. Can you delay the bomb until I get it right? Goodbye, Mr. Bounty. Uh oh. Hey, my stuff. Oh, crap. Finally, something in my spy kit will actually come in useful. Ah, oh, damn it, it broke in half. That dollar store crap is cheaper than a Scotsman at Walmart on double coupon day. It worked. I'm free and on fire! Stop, drop, roll, roll, roll. Okay, now what? <laughs> oh my god, the crate was filled with gladiator monkeys. I haven't done this since college. And then it was a scoop shovel. At last we are free! At last we greet the surfaces prophesied in Eon's past! Bomb Halabool! Ah, crap, I've unearthed an ancient underground city. Ah, the primates are here! Let the animal sacrifice begin! Oh my god! My people, this war has awakened the great Kraken. Prepare for his coming. It's eating everything. All the humanity. It's hideous. 
All those bloodstained teeth! No way. I don't think so! Okay, got it. Chew on this, you oversized appetizer! There was something troubling me about my escape from the warehouse. Maybe it was the fact that despite their insistence upon getting the statue, those goons didn't take it from me. Or maybe it was the horrific genocide of a lost civilization. Regardless, I didn't want the damn goat statue anymore. The only thing left to do was to get it back to Kitty and get myself paid. Kitty? Kitty, are you home? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Huh. Master's degree in feminist studies. Master's degree in chemistry. Wow. A monthly newsletter. Really, 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 really radical feminist. Men, we don't need them ever, ever, ever. Extreme Hardcore Feminism? Volume 1. Another man paralyzed. Jeez, this is becoming an epidemic. Well, it's either rock salt or rock candy. Oh. It's rock salt candy. And in other news, Officer Sam Dooley became the latest paralysis victim when he was discovered earlier today at Rick's China's house. Reports say that cause is not yet known. Huh, poor Sam. Well, well, well. You're getting to be quite a pest, Mr. Bounty. And you're still wearing those damn socks. Sills, get the statue. This is all he's got, Cormac. Is this some kind of joke? Hey, do you know how hard it was to find that thing? Sills, you informed me that this was the guy looking for the Maltese Falcon. Yeah, well, Falcon, go, whatever. Um, we should, um, go. Yeah. Uh, sorry about, um, you know, breaking the goat. Uh-huh. And trying to kill you. Just go. Oh, the girl just stepped out for some groceries. Um, you might have time to get her another goat before she gets back. Go! Broken goat pieces? Oh man, Kitty is gonna kill me. Hey, there was a key hidden in here. Hmm, those goons may have actually done me a favor. Looks like there's more to this ceramic goat business after all. Now, what might this key fit? There are deeds of ownership to a salt distribution plant in here. Apparently, Mr. Ledbetter signed them before he died, making it legal. But the line designated for the owner's name is still blank. Salt. Huh. Kitty is looking for something much bigger than childhood nostalgia. I have a theory, but if I'm gonna prove it, I better make sure Kitty gets her goat.
Have anything for me yet? Ah, you have come back for your goat statue. I have it ready. Wow, this one looks exactly like the other one. How did you know? I have seen what you need. Inside there is a key, but it will not work. That's amazing. I know, I know all. Now, you must go. Hurry, before it's too late. I returned to Kitty's house and finally found her at home. I gave her the goat, and she handed me a check I knew would bounce like silly putty on a trampoline of jello. She also gave me some homemade potato chips, which, by the way, were delicious. I had baited the hook, and now all I had to do was wait. Mmm, it doesn't fit. No, it doesn't. Nick, you switched the goat! I had to. The original broke, and from there I uncovered your whole operation. The diplomas on your walls revealed you as a chemist, and when I saw the deeds for the salt plant, I began to put it all together. You, the salt, the recent epidemic of paralysis victims. You had already started your salt-swapping scheme, switching the salt in a few local food joints with your zombie powder. And with your tests successful, you were about to take it worldwide. Why? Why would you want to turn everyone into human popsicles? Not everyone, just men. The salt only reacts to testosterone, proving that even on a chemical level, women are superior to men. We will inherit the earth and rule it properly. Men are slime, and since the salt didn't finish you, I will. Come on, Toots, a pretty broad like you shouldn't be holding such a dangerous weapon. Let's find you a nice apron and get you back to the kitchen where you belong. You disgusting pig! Listen, babe, it's a man's world out there. You're just gonna have to face that. What say you get me a beer, and I'll tell you exactly what your opinion should be? Oh, shut up, little man! All this chemistry talk's got your little brain confused. Why don't you read Cosmo's top ten ways to please your man in bed instead? Oh, that's it. The world's gonna be a much better place without jerks like you! Ha! You're out of bullets. Looks like the battle of the sexes is over and the boys win. Now give yourself up. Oh no, you've got me. But wait, before you arrest me, there's just one more thing I want to do. Ow, ow, ouch, ow. You testosterone drunk baboon. This is a Glock 36, 45 caliber, 10 rounds in the clip. Nobody uses six shooters anymore. Think about that as you die, male. Now nothing stands between me and the eradication of your entire pathetic sex. <laughs> Huh? What is this? I shot you four times! How are you still alive? Ah, my little pussy willow, that's all thanks to you. I realized on my way over here that I had been eating your poison snacks all along. The peanuts! The pretzels! The potato chips! The rock salt candy! I knew my best chance now would be to catch you in the act, and then stall you until the police got here, which should be about now. Now my body processes have slowed down to a virtual halt, preventing me from bleeding as I calmly ease into paralysis. Now don't just stand there looking at me like a puppy with a stick through its head. You're going to jail. You can't. You just can't. Sure I can. Damn you, Nick Bounty! Damn you to hell! So they booked her and I never saw her again. But sometimes, I can still smell her perfume in my office. And I wonder how things would have turned out if I had 
spread jello on her. Yeah, Nick. Great story, but what's it have to do with that watch? Huh. I guess I didn't get this watch in Chinatown. I guess I can part with it. Okay, let's play some poker. Listen, babe, it's a man's world out there. You're just gonna have to face that. What say you get me a beer, and I'll tell you exactly what your opinion should be? Oh, shut up, little man. 